When you look at Arizona, for instance, I think the, the whole question always is around immigration. And the truth of the matter is that immigration is, is here, but that's not the real story. The real story is the uh, generation that comes from that, those families uh, that have been created here in the U.S. and second, third generation of numbers that are growing. Culture um, has changed in the city of Phoenix uh, incredibly, where it was uh, hardly any um, anything outside of, of, of what I would say the white population. Now there's, there's a lot of color throughout the city. So I was the eighth largest city in, in, in the country and people are buying. Businesses are opening up. You can see small mom, mom and pop businesses coming up again. Well, I arrived in Phoenix in 1991. Um, currently, we're in 2013. I've seen, I think, a, a growth of close to 300% in the population of the Hispanic market. So it's been a, a tremendous expansion. I've seen it grown in a couple of areas. You see more Hispanics that are small business owners. Uh, you see more Hispanics um, at you know, our higher ed universities, uh, ASU, NAU. You, you can see a trend that is not only going on in Phoenix and Arizona, but nationally, uh, Hispanics are, are, are making an impact and to a certain point, deciding who becomes president, uh, who becomes governor, and who becomes uh, our U.S. senators. When we started in, 19, in 1990, uh, we were the first uh, Hispanic-oriented travel agency that catered to the, um, to, the, to, the, to the community here. The uh, ethnic market that I serve the most are Mexicans, Guatemalans, and Salvadoreños. Y todos ellos buscan su periódico en español. Um, I think when you look at the more, the, I would say, the Spanish-dominant piece of the Hispanic market, uh, rely heavily on print. Uh, you know, if you, if you look at it from a, just a pure cultural perspective and you go to a place like Mexico, which where I'm traveling to a lot now, uh, print is, is really the, almost the media of choice. I mean, you do have the TV and some radio, but, but print really is the media of choice in terms of people that grab it, they, they digest it, they pass it along. And, and being from the U.S., being born here, you don't necessarily take a, a full, um, you don't give it all the credit it deserves. Uh, but when you, when you come from that side of the border, coming this way, um, that's a tool for them that is a, it's a household item, one that they rely heavily on and that is widely used. The true story is that Latinos in general now are really the market uh, and they will be for the next 50 years.